just terrific and, and awesome things can occur. And that's really what's happening right now with the combination of network marketing, wellness, and also with Wayora's growth. Network marketing has never had a down quarter. It's grown 95% in the last 10 years. Billionaire Warren Buffett, the most successful investor ever, has described the network marketing investments he's made as the best investments he's ever made. And so we find that people are really looking for it, in part because of our e economy. I mean, look at this guy chained to his desk. It's 5 o'clock. How happy, huh? We've discovered that the people contacting us looking for a plan B, I mean, it's, it's folks you just didn't expect to see. You know, five-figure monthly jobs, six-figure yearly salaries, and so on. They're saying, I need another way to make some money because everyone's feeling the, the gas prices and their, the value of their homes perhaps has dropped and so on. And they're trying to, I mean, an extra couple, three grand a month could make a huge, huge difference in, in the, uh, the, the lifestyle of a lot of these families. What I love about network marketing is how recession-proof it is. In good times, people are spending money. When times tighten up a little bit, they're looking for a way to make money. So either way, uh, we win. So combine that with what's going on in wellness. I held up Paul Zane Pilzer's book just a moment ago. It's called The Wellness Revolution. P Paul Zane Pilzer, if you didn't know, was an uh, economics advisor to two presidents, Ronald Reagan and, and then President Bush. And he's been just spot on decade after decade in his predictions. And he's saying, look at wellness, which is very different than health care. Health care in this country is really management of, of, of symptoms. And so it's really a sick care industry. Wellness is the idea of getting healthy and staying well. And just a few years ago, he was doing about $200 million a year. Uh, two years ago, he was doing about $400 million, And now he's saying it's going to be the next trillion dollar industry. Why? Baby boomers uh, are the, the biggest driver of it. It's, it's people our ages, really, who want to have a different um, growing older than a lot of our parents and grandparents did. Uh, our idea that we should be able to, to live to 100 and, and, and not go quietly, but go screaming and yelling with our running shoes on. Uh, my goal is to live past 100 and die in a go-kart accident. So, and, uh, but a neat thing about wellness is this. Who's been on some of the, the evening national testimony calls? We do them every night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Did you listen to one? You heard, for example, some of the, like the, the mothers with, of autistic children. It's some of the most dramatic, exciting, heart-rending stories you could hear. Now, that mother has a child who has autism and has amazing turnaround because of natural cellular defense. Now, what is she wondering? Huh, I wonder if, if um, this healthy aging would help with my joints. And lo and behold, it does. Now she's wondering about, can she improve her skin through natural skin care, and so on. So someone who has a positive wellness experience wants to have more and more of it. And so it, it helps drive the industry. So with an industry that's going to do a trillion dollars a year, I mean, we don't even have to be that good to do a billion out of a trillion. But the exciting part of that, of course, is that we are good, very good. This slide is dated. I probably need to change it. Pharmaceutical drugs properly prescribed, properly taken, are now the number four killer of Americans. The number four. So you've got heart disease, diabetes, cancer, prescription drugs. Raise your hand if you know someone who's taking two or more prescription drugs at one time. If you know someone taking two or more. Keep your hand up if you think those drugs are probably for symptoms only and meant to be taken for their lifetime. Yeah. 95% of pharmaceutical drugs are for symptoms only. 95% are just to address symptoms, not to help the disease at all. In fact, in many cases, that's so dangerous. If you're taking something for high blood pressure, the symptom goes away, but you, have you addressed the root cause, which might be diet or exercise or a number of other things? No. So you're masking. You're letting the, 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 the enemy still be you know, working inside of you, if you will. I know people who are taking 10, 15, 20 medications at once, don't you? Do you think any of those have been tested to see how they combine with each other? Of course not. That's the polypharmaceutical effect. And that's why now we have this as the number four cause of death. So people are looking. I love USA Today uh, because any given day you can see a story of warning. Don't do what this person did. They took these five medications and now they're gone. Or you see stories of hope. Here's someone who you know, did something you know, natural through you know, exercise, walking, supplements, 
massage something and they achieved a whole new life through it. So there's always great examples that just support what we're doing. In fact, a big part of what drives yours and my business is the difference between what people know and what people do. I'll give you an example. Everybody knows they're supposed to wear shoes. And I look around, right? And you are, OK? So you know you're supposed to wear shoes, and you go outside, and you do. That's why it's so difficult to make over $50,000 a year selling shoes. There's no gap here. But think of the computer industry 15 years ago. People were starting to learn more and more about personal computers, but not everybody had one yet. So their behavior lagged behind. And the people who got involved in that industry early on helped change people's behavior and made absolute fortunes. That's a big part of what drives up the market. So what's the power of the mother of the autistic child who says, holy cow, my kid's behavior is changing. The teacher says, yeah, I know. What happened? Started taking this little bottle of drops. I want to take some of that because so and so and this and that. And then behavior changes and it drives the market up incredibly because people are tired of this story and they're looking for something uh, better for their bodies. Natural Cellular Defense came out and made millionaires out of a number of people. It's a millionaire maker, and it will make hundreds more millionaires yet to come. A Garigold with H1X1, this mushroom extract, we believe has 10 times the potential of, of natural cellular defense, especially when the two are taken together. One to get the toxins and heavy metals out, the other one to, uh, to replenish the body and get the immune system working properly. So how do you get started? At $29, you become a member, kind of like Costco or Sam's Club, something like that. And then you'll pick from an opening order, good, better, best. Good is about a $100 product order, gives you a couple things to try. It gives you uh, some access to the compensation plan, gives you access to the nine level plan, basically. The better way to go would be a little bit over $200, gives you more product to use, but it maximizes your fast start commission. So it gives you that 25% commission when you sign up other people. However, if you want to join the footsteps of the leaders, but also take advantage of the profit sharing, you will double or triple your, your initial monthly income from starting as a pace setter. It's uh, $500. It gives you about $70 worth of free stuff. And it gives you total access to the compensation plan and uh, lets you take advantage of the, the profit sharing right off the bat. The other advantage I like is that even now, two and a half years later, people ask Rebecca and me, well, how did you guys get going? How did you get your business started fast? And I'm glad to say we, we did that pace setter thing because we made more money that way. And we got to try more products. So, so that's how um, you can launch it. Just then begin to share this business with others. It's the show and tell thing. So I would ask you, as you sat here and learned about some of these products, did it, did it enter your mind some people you could think of out there who deserve to hear about them? Did it? And, and on the money side, too, could you think of some people who would like to earn maybe a little extra income or maybe even a big time career change? Did you think of some of those, too? Then, then join us now. Then begin to, to share our story. Thank you.